Hello, hello, all my fans out there, YouTube channel. Welcome back to Drago's Persona Chat with your truly Persona 4 Arena Ultimate. Alright, we got halfway through the first half of the four members of the investigation team. I think I can tell if somehow unlockable between last and the game. Not sure, this is probably so. I don't think Risa is playable yet. So let's get back to the rest of the investigation team that is available for this part only. And next up to play as in the story mode, Nagi Tatsumi. Let's see how this kind hearted toughness goes around. So let's begin! Are you free to help out with the store for a bit? Not now, Mom! I don't have time today! I'm busy! Uh, Kanji? Oh, that boy is always such a handful. Mom stepped back in the stupid store without saying anything else. Good. Now I can grab all the tools I need in my room before I can go back to the living room. This is even more important than helping Mom out. It has to do with Golden Leaf, which, which starts tomorrow. Check it out. My man Yu Senpai is coming back. My other senpai made for fun of me for being a stoked that he's visiting for the holidays, but screw them. I can't help getting I can't help getting excited. So that's why I put together my little plan. Alright, time to get started. This is my second present for you, Senpai. I can't give him something half-assed. Got the plan for it all laid out perfect. Just got a knit till my hands fall off. Ouch. The plan of mine, basically, I'm gonna give you senpai one hell of a comeback gift. He is pretty crafty and a stuffer. That's why I keep young jockey. Which means I gotta give him something even better than the one I showed him before. And he'll probably bring that coke shot along. So I wanna give him a matching present. Anyway, that's how my big crazy project to commit original stuffed animal starts. I'm itching to get started. <laughs> First I gotta pat pick which yarn yarn to use. Of course his mother knows where he does that stuff. That's why he's so busy. Oh hey! I'm liking the color and the texture on this one. I carefully patch the yarn in my hand and with my crutch of the hook and start making turning chains. I can't pull too hard or too soft on the yarn. I gotta relax a little and keep up a steady pace with a crutch. Some people might say it's playing for a tough dude like me losing himself crafting like this. But who cares? I can honestly say from the bottom of my heart that I love this shit. <laughs> That's the truth. Honest to God. Though, it wasn't long ago that I was keeping this hobby a secret out of embarrassment. I hated people saying it was manly. So I actually all tough and neat and got a bad reputation. But you senpai, he really snapped me out of it. I really owe that guy. There's no way I can ever thank him enough. It's almost been a year since I met Senpai and the guys. Wonder what would have happened if I never met him. My attention drifts over the big screen TV. I can't I can kind of see my face reflected in the black screen looking back at me. The thing is I could go inside there if I want. I mean literally sticking myself into the screen. On the other side of the screen is completely different world. So, no one but my friends would believe Man, that. it was so crazy. I keep questioning, questioning, thinking about everything that went down last year. How I got dragged into all of it. There was a serial murder thing that shook the whole town. And that, that led me to meeting you, Senpai. The killer went after me, too. I almost ended up one of the victims. I could have 
could could have died. So anyway, the trick the, the cult were used was crazy. He was throwing people into a tree. That's how I found out about the other world. That world inside the tree it, it, it is this dangerous place where these monsters called shadows live. If you don't have the force of the cult as a sonar, you're boned. You Senpai had the power, and he brought, it brought friends who had it to, to the TV to save me. Can you believe that? I risked his, he risked his life to come save me, a guy everyone wrote off as a no good punk. He, he barely even ever talked. Seriously, he's a hell of a man. Only one year older than me, too. Anyway, I begged the Senpai to save me to let me join the group. The group. I didn't like damn this to help them with the hair thing, solving the murder case. It sure wasn't easy, but this spring we wrapped the whole thing up. Uh, damn straight. <laughs> and I guess that's about covered it. The huge freaking TV in our living room is the result of the case in, in a way. When they switched to the digital process last year, I bugged my, I very much my mom to get a big one. That is what she got. I thought it might come handy for solving the case and stuff. So, to be honest, I didn't get much news out of it. The Midnight Channel doesn't come on anymore. I don't watch much TV in the first place. You were one of the victims, remember? The Midnight Channel. When you look into a switch off TV alone on the rainy midnight, someone will appear. It sounded like a stupid rumor, but it was important in Lionel last year's case, so it's no joke. I stared at the TV every night when it rained until the case was over. But now that it is, nothing shows up on whatever it's original or pours down buckets. Pours down buckets. Oh boy. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Damn, I didn't talk to me. Ah, he's thinking about me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, time to change yarn. Which color should I use next? Oh yeah, I had some frilly material left too. Oh, if I can work that in, the best color to go with it is... Wait, Ugh, this is for senpai. <laughs> I gotta be careful. I almost forgot myself with how insanely awesome this was turning out. It's gotta be a w w welcome gift that I still want him to be happy with it. I can't cut a corner. Don't you need frills or lace for him? It's all about the shape. <laughs> he won't know what hit him. When he sees how cute this is, it'll be like a punch to the gut. <laughs> so I wonder how he got kidnapped. Wonder what I'd be doing now if I hadn't met Senpai. Probably still picking fights and dumb reasons and making my mom apologize for Everyone looked at me and called me a punk. It caused mom so much trouble. <laughs> she ain't got nothing to do with all that. Of course I do. You're my son. When will you ever come to see that? What the? Sh Shut up, you old hag! Quit sneaking up on me to listen! <laughs> Kanji Tatsumi, watch your mouth! And I did call to you. You just didn't hear me. <laughs> How much of that did you hear? Damn it. Make sure not to work yourself too hard, all right, dear? Don't you have an important date with your friends tomorrow? I know, Mom! Yes! <laughs> Bye! Hot pocket! And hey, I don't want to see you moving those shells by yourself. That's how you threw your back out last time. I'll remember, dear. Thank you. I don't know if she really gets it or not, but Mom gives me a half-ass answer and goes back to the shot. Seriously, though, it's dangerous for her to try doing everything on her own. Even cloth is heavy when she's, you're carrying an armful. Has, can't she tell I'm crutching in here and not in my room so I can help her out when she needs me? <laughs> Wait, I guess there's no point to that if I'm concentrating too hard to notice her behind me. Ah, I gotta get this done, even if I have to pull an all-nighter. All right, I can do this. Are you trying to speed it up or so it weirdly? Damn it, so tired. That's kind of weird. Almost done, too. What the hell? Damn. Why well, am so well, I'm so tired? Seriously, I don't know anymore. 
work to be done. Uh, come on, give me some slack, senpai. Huh? <clears throat> Did I fall asleep? Yep. Like it. Must have been mom. Damn it, I don't have time to waste sleeping. Uh, screw this. I tossed away the blanket mom put on me. Ugh. I guess I should thank her. I ended up not helping out at the shop, too. I shake off my gorgeousness and fold the blanket. Would she be upstairs already by now? I stand up, ready to go upstairs. <laughs> oh! What? What happened? <laughs> Oof. Kaji. Hello? You dead? What the hell just happened? I fell, but it doesn't feel like I hit anything, and nothing hurts. It just feels like I'm floating, and there's nowhere to stand. It's like I'm falling, but not. I ought to be panicking, but I'm just really sleepy. I feel like I'm passing out. Damn it, I still haven't gotten enough sleep? Oh boy. Kanji, if you're going to sleep, you should sleep in your room. You'll catch a cold. Hmm? Where did that boy go? That's not good. That's just he disappeared, huh? Well, that's not a thing... Well, we should worry about that. Let's save that special spot for Kanji himself and continue with the story. Oh, we will, all right. Mm. Man, that was a great nap. Wait, huh? Am I outside? By the school? In the TV world, it's of bright out. Is it morning already? My head feels stuffy for some reason. I guess I was asleep, but I don't remember what happened before that. Huh? Was I really asleep? Then how come I'm outside? The school bell ringing in the distance. Okay, was I on my way to school? Wait, I can't be all calm about it. Crap, there's no one walking around. Does that mean I'm late? Maybe it's close. I wouldn't have cared if I was waiting once or twice to last year, but I'm paying the price now since my attending research pretty crazy this year. Being late and cutting class would be pretty bad. I hurry and get to get to my feet. But when I look around, I don't see my dad. Well, not like there's anything important in it. I can't wait. Gotta hurry and get through the school gym. Um Back from school? So, outside, got my uniform on, and the sun's out. So, I must have been on my way there. Shouldn't it be a vacation off of this Golden Week thing? Not to have school, if it's true? Something's not right here, but I can't waste time. If the school gate shuts, I'll, just, I'll have to climb over and deal with the teachers, and it ain't in the room. Most of all, I'm, a, I'm ready, I'm already at the school gate, so what else? I want to avoid being late. I barely see the teeth. The gate, man. The hell? I don't believe what I've seen. The school building looks cool. Yeah, what's this all about? A new school event or something? Nope. There's all these weird decorations and posters everywhere. Plus, the huge monitor for some reason. It looks kind of like a culture festival, but it ain't the time of year yet. And it is it? Is this some kind of new event for them? For a and again, school events always suck. I'm usually just ditch them. You gotta do something new. I wish it'd be like a competition to see who's the strongest man in the school. Crap. Just when I said that, one of the biggest monitors in front of the school turned on by itself. Is this for a school announcement? I stopped clocking and watched the monitor. But then. You need to know until you know it, dude. Rivals! Ah, oh. so they seem they to find you in this area. Friends! Yes, powerful foes! The desperate fighting program oh, of those high like school students! Sure. No, I he A new him. legend Urgh, is oh, about to like start! Like Be the manliest of all men! Come on! Touches his precious Nanako, the sister complex kingpin of steel, Yu Narukami! It's only natural. 
Wage slave in the boonies by day, hero by night, Captain Rasantamo Yosuke Hanamura! Everything that bores me has gotta go! A spunky dragon with deadly legs, the carnivore who's discarded womanhood, Shie Satunaka! You need to eat more meat! Please escort me to the ring, my prince! The unconquerable Snow Black, Yukiko Amagi! I'll finish you in one strike! Blooming roses and bulging muzzles, the blood-curdling beefcake emperor, Kanji Tatsumi! Deep into realms of romance, the body of a child, the brain of a genius, the 2000 IQ killjoy detective, Naoto Shirogane! Is this an army of idiots? Fight! and survive towards the one throne waiting at the end. The P1 Grand Prix, where fierce fights will be fought. The battle begins tonight. Oh, boy. And his reaction is... I'm so shocked that I can get how to move. And my jaw practically on the floor. It's open, so why you could probably stuff volleyball right now. What the hell? That was complete bullshit. <laughs> I told you. I'm staring. I'm starting to get pissed I mean, off. What's a beef game? Some kind of meatloaf or something? Uh. It's sort of a different Yeah. I know there's no point in complaining to the TV, but I can't help myself. What the hell was that all about? When did someone make that? Ladies and gentlemen, uh -huh. sorry for the wait. Baker. It's time to get our show started. Huh? Is that Lisa? There's no need for manners or courtesy or anything today, so let it all hang out. Tell us how you really feel. Don't feel like hang out. Well, I, Rosette, will be your commentator. But first, the general has a few words for you all. The mic's all yours. <laughs> You're all here now. I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix, featuring the manliest of all men. P1 Grand Prix? Featuring the manliest of all men? Are they seriously gonna hold a tournament here at the school to see who is the strongest man it is? That makes no sense at all. How could my wish come true all of a sudden? And why is where's Lisa's where's Lisa petty acting like they're insane? I'm sorry, there's no way Ted could pull off something this petty at school. Seriously, none of this makes any sense. Huh? Wait. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, there's only one way this could happen. This is just a dream. No, it's not. Oh, my God. Can I please smack him? Why are so many things I was so sleepy, I guess I couldn't avoid yeah. it. Yeah, that explains everything, from waking up outside the school to it being morning already. That's why my wish suddenly came true, too. Oh, man, I am on fire today. Grand Prix to decide the strongest fighter, huh? <laughs> That's not a bad dream at all. This is gonna be fun! I feel a lot better now, knowing this is real. Oh, it's real, all right. Looking around, I can see that a part of from the weird decorations of school. Well, that's why I've never had a dream where I knew I was dreaming before. It's pretty damn realistic. Man, if this is my dream, I would fight the decorations would be cooler. It's still great though. Costume Ted's wearing ain't bad either. He's got kind of a different look going on. <laughs> but of course it's impressive. This is my dream after all. If I can remember it after I wake up, it might be fun to make one like that for the real Ted. It was lame though. It's too much like what they showed on the Midnight Channel last year. And this is only a dream. I'd be finished for sure if that actually got shown to A sign and the wind when a spotlight signs on me. I'm sprinting against the brightness when Ted on the monitor gives a good TV grin. Ooh, looks like our first challenger is Kanji! Welcome! 
This battle to decide who's the manliest of all men is practically made for you! Hell yeah it is! You got that right! Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to get all fired up! The manliest of all men, huh? Sounds good to me. Alright, time to do this! They said, Senpai, you don't care about that discarded womanhood stuff? Come on, no need to be so uptight. It's normal for the P1. Yeah, it phases you, huh? If she is Senpai says so, I guess it's okay. But this is my dream, right? Not anyone else's? Shit, if they're real serious, if I found out I had a dream like this, you know what I mean? But this CA Senpai doesn't seem like she cares at all about me saying insulting her. She struck a little and, and laughed at Don't me. let that get to you, Kanji-kun. You've already established your legend yourself, right? The infamous delinquent who crushed the biker gang single-handedly. They even put you on TV for it. Oh, wait, what are you getting at? It was back when I was in middle school. Well, I see a step I said. I did take a fight with a biker gang and crushed them all myself. Those dumbasses decided to hang out around my house every night, yelling their lungs out. At first, I kept my cool, but they kept coming back every two days, and my mom got sick from not being able to sleep. When I went to warn them, it turned into a war for some reason. Seriously, they sucked for a while after that. On the right side, I got those assholes to cut us out of there. You, but the cops started watching me, and my teacher were calling me out. I knew, and then I caused more trouble than I did for mom. It was a disaster. I kind of rather just forget it already. Right. But she said I won't let it go. That's so cool! Tough moments like you always have the scars to prove you're the real heroes of the dropout. I didn't do it to be cool or anything. Hell, it's not like I even wanted to deal with him. The rumors got out of hand because I kept my mouth shut about it. Hmm, they got out of hand, huh? Is that really what happened? Yep, nothing sounds right now. Kanji, have you ever honestly told anyone happened. that you hate being misunderstood? Have I what? The hell is this? Where does Shia Senpai get off lecturing me? Ain't she being too harsh on me in my own dream? Shia Senpai sees my getting, getting all flustered and goes in for the kill. Oh, I get it. If you poured your heart out and still weren't understood, it'd be too much for you. Th that ain't true! I... I mean, what else can it be? You keep saying things like, all I need is people who understand the real me. But you look and act like nothing oh, but a like scary it. punk kid Fake to everyone else. Out. That's pushing people away from you. If you ask me, you're just avoiding the problem. And that's not very manly. I bet that stuff about wanting to protect your mom is all talk, too. Ooh. You leave my mom out of this! You trying to pick a fight with me? Young man, don't think, feel. That's not what a real man is like. I'll bash some sense into you with my fist! This is like some weird Nancy style martial pose. Material pose. Oh, it is on uh, now. That's what this was all building up to? What was all that trash talk for? You could have just said that from the start. Point is, you're up for a fight, right? Then that's what I'll give you. Let's get this heated battle between two men started. And what she is a girl. 
Dude, it's pretty harsh. But if this is all my dream, does that mean it's, it's how I actually feel? I really gotta keep this a secret from PHFI when I wake up. If I, I feel kinda guilty, but I get ready for a fight. Here it goes! Ah! I'm a lion! Alright, let's do this and we'll get to the next episode after this battle. Kanji versus CA! I don't know where to start. Persona again. Sure. Let's go again. Finally. What's up? See What's up? What's up? What's up? See So until next time, for some of my fans out there, and for Persona 4 Arena Ultimate. More to come next time, promise. Rawr! I am a lion! King of the jungle, ready to fight! Rawr! Kidding.